Hey adventurers, I know some of you are curious how I get such great shots like this, and others like this. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of my process and how I find these things and how I go about my journey. So we're in Florida, and you know, honestly, the first thing I do is I look at the map. And I just kind of pick a random spot. You know, I don't know this area very well. It's my first time out here. So I try to find a place that's got a lot of green area around it uh, that looks like it has a lot of unbroken habitats and lots of roads to drive through. You know, I found just kind of a random old place here in Florida that looks like it has some good roads that I can drive through and maybe I'll find something. So that's, that's the first step is pretty much just exploring. Now the biggest tool when we're going to look for frogs and toads are going to be our ears. We really want to go to a place where we hear them calling. It's going to make it so much easier to find stuff if they're actively out and about making all sorts of noise. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to open up my window just a little bit so that way I don't have all sorts of bugs flying in, but I can hear what's outside and I can hear if there's a toad or a frog that's nearby and hopefully I'll hear if there's a lot or a bunch. Well, we've been, we've driven about 20 minutes uh, to get to that area on the map that seemed pretty remote with lots of wildlife and you can see that uh, it's definitely looking good. I mean, we don't have houses out here. Nobody else is on this road with me. So hopefully this will be a good road uh, to find uh, some of the stuff. So we'll keep our eyes peeled and hopefully something pops up. Now this is exactly what I was hoping for. It's not a huge cacophony of sound like you may have seen in my other videos, but this right here is a couple of little grass frogs that are calling. Now these frogs have evaded me for the last couple days. I've heard them almost every night out here, but I haven't seen one yet. So what I do is stop the car when I start to hear things out the window. And then I take my, my trustily flashlight and I go scanning and we'll see what, what comes up. Now these particular frogs would be almost impossible to see and impossible to find if they weren't calling. They are the smallest frog in North America and are less than an inch. They're, they're closer to like half an inch. Um, but luckily, I see, I hear that one is calling right in front. If you may have heard in the background, there's a, a southern leopard frog as well. But right, right in here, I hear one of the frogs. Oh, wow, it's so small. It's like the size of, of a fingernail. Here, let me, get, let me get you a better look. Can you see that itty bitty frog? Right there. Here's the setup that I use to get these shots. I have a small tripod that my phone can stick to magnetically, just like this. My phone just uh, just snaps in on there, and then the uh, I put this light, this LCD light, on top that lights up things pretty well. You can see, getting a good shot. I think the did the frog disappear while I was showing you. Nope, he's still there, just moved a little bit. But then my best shots, I just leave it there and I, I can walk around. I can go and see if there are any other frogs that might be a little bit closer so I don't have to zoom quite as much. Or I can maybe find a different species. I find this incredible. These frogs are so well camouflaged and they're so small that for the last 10 minutes, I still haven't found one other than that first one that I showed you. Um, I swear, I mean, I can hear probably six or seven of them calling, all from maybe about like a 50 foot stretch here on the side of the road. But I have my <laughs> binoculars that I've been using to try to find them. They're only like five feet away from me, but they're in this little, this little watery puddle area. And I swear, even if I was directly on top of them, I would 
not be able to find these guys. It is so incredibly amazing uh, how how hidden these frogs are. But I'm going to keep looking, and hopefully I'll have another shot or two to, to share with you. And there you go, a little look into my process into how I find these things out in the field. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I thought it was really great that we saw North America's smallest frog, uh, the little grass frog. Oh my God, almost forgot the name. The little grass frog. Like I said, I've been hearing these guys call constantly the last couple of days, so it's really exciting to finally get a look at one and to get some really good footage. I'm excited to see how it turns out once I get home. And my feet didn't get all that wet. Anyway, I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History. And I'll see you in the field.